So, today I want to talk about the Nikon Z6 II. Shocking, I know. So for the few people that know me, my name is Ian and I'm a wedding photographer. I shoot weddings on a pair of Nikon Z6 IIs. And the purpose of this video is just to show you how I have my Z6 II set up for wedding photography. I have everything set exactly the same. I have all the profile set the same, I have the shooting menu set the same, I have the options, everything, every single customizable function. So if I'm switching from one to the other, I know there's absolutely zero change. They both operate in exactly the same manner. If I do add a Z7 II into the mix, then that will be set up in pretty much exactly the same way, all the same functions, because the same bodies, the same setup, same menus, I'll just keep everything exactly the same. So here we are on the back of the camera. You can see I'm in AFS mode with the wide area people face and eye detection switched on. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, let's have a look. Wide area AFL people. Very, very technical uh, name there, Nikon. And I find that is the best mode at the moment for the way I shoot. I tend to hit, say, 90 seven percent of uh shots are in focus in that mode and it works really well it's nice and easy to switch in and continuous if i need to get the if there's some fast-paced action going on so someone's walking down the aisle i can just switch in a continuous nice and easy function button there quick turn continuous boom job done so let's switch into video and the settings are pretty standard. So my setup for video, because I do actually do hybrid shooting with these cameras, is the autofocus is in AFF uh, focus mode and the AF area mode is in auto area AF people. The reason I leave it in auto area AF mode is basically if I'm in one of these wider modes, it tends to pick up on just anything that's in front of the camera. So a hand, uh, a bouquet, just yeah anything that goes in front of the camera it will get picked up and the camera will then track that instead that needs to be looked at in the future with a firmware update and not a new camera so that is basically it that's how i set up both my nikon z62s for wedding photography and wedding videography um you may do it different other people may do it different this is how i do it and it works for me that's the important thing it's not so much you should, there's no guarantee this will work for you. It, works, it suits my style of shooting, it suits my style of photography, it suits my style of videography, and that's why I do it. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.